Hello and welcome to clickcentral.com. Um, just a little video now just around expressions and how to store, and how to write expressions, how to sort of store them um, within ClickView. Um, a little while ago I did a blog post about how to store expressions in ClickView and there were two sort of areas that I sort of focused on. One was storing them in, uh, in variables and the one was storing data island and a little bit of feedback that people would love to see. You know, a little bit more detail how that's done. So here's you know one of the first first videos of a few of I'm going to do. This one is just going to focus in storing expressions into variables. So what I've done is I've got a data table loaded, um, very basic, and I've set up a very simple uh, straight table chart to show how obviously expressions are normally typed into ClipView. So you're all aware of that. Let's go in there and just see. Okay, some value, so on and so forth. So that's quite normal. So what I'm talking about is actually not using, um, we're well not typing the expression straight into the expression definition here, but actually storing that expression into a variable. So I'll do is I'll take a copy of this one and then go into the variable editor. <coughs> I've got a variable set up, uh, but no value to that at the moment. Um, obviously, if you see my previous videos or previous blog posts where I say we don't use the variable editor overview, sorry, the variable overview to add new variables, you should always do that in the script. Um, but for this instance, we'll bypass that rule because it's just an example. So I'll paste it in there. Now that expression will have the value of some value. Now it's very important that we don't put an equal sign here. Um, because that will evaluate it at this point, in other words, over the whole data set, we want to actually evaluate it across the dimension. So if we take the equal sign off there, it won't evaluate here, and it'll evaluate the chart when we set that up. So I'll just do this as an example. So I'll set up a new chart. And the expression is the V expression sum value. At this point, we have to wrap the expression in dollar expansion, and then this will make the expression evaluate. Okay, and there we go. So it's exactly the same results, um, but this time we are using the. Uh, we can just about see it there. It needs to be a bit bigger chart. We're using this um, within the expression definition, rather than typing it in straight away. Now, just to show that idea expanded, go into here's when I made it earlier. So here we've got all three recreated, and we can see the expressions here. So I've got you know some value, some total value. But here, what I'm not doing is writing it in exactly how it is there verbatim. I'm actually using and referencing the expressions again. Now this is really handy because if you've got expressions that or some of different parts, so sort of more margin, for example, which takes all different sort of sales and costs, and you know all those are broken down into different types of costs, etc., etc., etc. You know you could change one element of the cost, and really what you want that to do is then filter down to all your subsequent expressions, and that means you have to change it in one place rather than changing it repeat, repeat, repeatedly. So if we if we'd have written that in, you know exactly. The, the same is there here and not referenced it. If we needed to change that, we need to change it twice, whereas now we need to change it once. And then there they go, they work perfectly, just as you expect expressions to work. There's a few advantages around there. We talked about this is all about accuracy and consistency. So when you promote your dashboard to a live environment, if in the future you need to make changes in dev again, you don't have to change it multiple times, you just need to change it once and all the expressions if they're used repeatedly throughout the dashboard group day and all the sort of nested expressions as well will feed off the, the sort of leaf expression and update as well so it's all around that again consistent accuracy. So that was the video, we we'll do some more around storing your expressions within a data island and that should be coming up soon but thanks for watching um, please remember clickcentral.com uh, loads more blog posts on there and uh, love to hear your comments and feedback as always and uh, see you again soon thanks a lot